What did I say? She's a little goofy, huh? I, yeah, I would love that. I don't Call think I've it. ever seen her look lovely. Goofier in a charming for, way, for a in a lovely way. She's a beautiful woman. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Our next guest is the subject of a fascinating new documentary called Brain Man. It airs uh, on the uh, Science Channel. Uh, please welcome Daniel Tammet, ladies and gentlemen. I've, I've established uh, my ignorance on the topic, so help us if you can. Uh, sure. First of all, how would one uh, describe you? Okay, um, I'm a savant. And what does that uh, mean, strictly speaking? Okay, well, there are different types of savant. I'm a prodigious savant. Um, prodigious? I'm prodigious. Yeah. <laughs> it means somebody with exceptional mental abilities, um, exceptional even in perhaps people without any problems. I mean, I had epilepsy as a small child, and we believe that maybe the seizures kick something in in the brain. I see. Um, so, so without this uh, seizure, you might not have had these abilities. Is that what sure. you're saying? I see. Yes. And uh, I I I this is a good thing for you to be a savant. Is that correct? Uh, yes. yes. I mean, it, it's. it's <laughs> does, does, does it have any? Does it have any drawbacks? It has lots of drawbacks. Well, what would be some of the uh, drawbacks? Some of the minuses for this. Well. I was recently diagnosed with Asperger's as well, which is a, a high-functioning form of autism. Mm. Um, so what scientists who have studied me believe is that it's the epilepsy and the autism combined which has caused these uh, abilities that I have. Well, well, that's interesting that the two negative occurrences have actually produced this uh, rare and uh, rarefied positive. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, and and, and how, what are the symptoms that manifest themselves for Asperger's? In terms of Asperger's, it's inability to socialize very easily, um, a really strong and narrow interest in particular areas. Mm -hmm. I've always loved numbers and I've always loved words and language as well. And these are the two areas um, where I seem to have real uh, ability to mm -hmm. flourish and, mm -hmm. and do well. But at the expense of social uh, interaction? Yes. yes. I mean, it's getting better. But you better. seem like you're doing just fine sitting here talking to me. Thank you. That's very kind of you yeah. to say. I mean, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you're too kind. Thank you. Uh, no, it's, it's taken a long time. I'm 26 now, mm -hmm. and I had the seizures when I was, I think, four. Four. So uh, and it did not recur? Just the, the one episode? There were several seizures. I mean, the first was very severe. I almost died. Oh, my. Yeah. But as you grew older, you seemed to grow out of them. Is that more or less how you would characterize it? Yes, that's it? right. Uh, all right, so let, let's uh, dwell now on uh, what this has left you with, uh, and I just don't understand it. What, what can you do that everybody else can't do. Okay, well last year on March 14th, which is Pi Day in America. Pi Day? Yes, Pi Ooh, Day. I love Pi. I, I love Pi too. But it's not, it's not your type of Pi, oh. it's a mathematical number, 3.14. Oh, oh, pi. 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 I didn't, I didn't realize there was a Pi Day. Pi. Yeah, 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 yeah. So pi on day. Pi Day, what happens? So on Pi Day, well Pi Day is 314, and those are the first numbers in the Number oh, pi, 3.14. Right. Yes, third month and uh, whatever else. Fourteenth day, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the third month, fourteenth day, right. That's right. So I recited pi, which is an irrational number, which means you can't express it as a fraction. It goes on forever and mm -hmm. ever. I recited it from memory to over 22,500 places. Wow. And it took me five hours, and we had lots of invigilators to check that I made no mistakes. And it only took me a few weeks to learn number. Ooh. And it was really good because we raised lots of money for epilepsy mm -hmm. charities in the UK. And I really did show that being a savant and having these advantages and disadvantages shouldn't hold you back. Now, it, 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 go back to the recitation of pi. It took you, you say, five hours to recite? Yeah. And, and how many digits, roughly, were uh, in that number? So I recited pi to 22,514 decimal places. It took me five hours and nine minutes. Right. And uh, the hardest part of it was actually the physical side because it was like running a marathon in your head, if you can mm -hmm. imagine that. It's a just constant flow of numbers. Mm -hmm. And I had some water and I had some bananas right. and chocolate to keep my energy levels up. I like up. bananas. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and um, <laughs> a, 
And another, and another person, uh, who, who not being a savant, could they have not committed this to memory? Yes, they can. They could and, have, and, yeah. and people have done that, but it's taken them years. And I usually see. they have to have several attempts because right. it's a big thing to do. Yeah. And, uh, do you still remember it now, even yes. though this happened a month yes, ago? Yes, yes. Wow. Um, I mean, that's the other thing when I'm learning numbers. See, what I'm doing is I'm visualizing numbers. It's not, when you look at a number, when you look at, say, 43, you just see the number 4 and 3, right. like most people do. But when I'm looking at, at different uh, numbers, you know, whatever number it is, I'm seeing colors and shapes mm -hmm. and textures. It's something called synesthesia, mm. because my brain is working in such a way that I'm looking and also experiencing color. Mm -hmm. So it's two senses combined. So I, I haven't seen this show before, I have to say. I've never I mean, seen this from show. London, no. Yeah. And <laughs> when I, I, I I'm, I'm sitting with you now and I'm watching you and I'm seeing you and you're a very handsome man, I have to say. <laughs> Let me just say, you got my number. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have to say, you know, you look like the number 117. 117. Wow. You look like 117. Thank you very much. 117. It's, wow. a, it's a handsome number. It's tall. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lanky number. A little bit wobbly. A little bit wobbly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I'm full of Crisco. Now, uh, I... Uh, w w what's the thing about uh, birthdays? Is this uh, like a, a party trick or is this something that uh, demonstrates your savant uh, ism or power yeah. or whatever it is? I mean, some you, savants. You, my, okay, my birthday is. Guess my birthday. Is that how it works? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> how does it work? I but tell you what my birthday tell is. Tell me what your birthday a is. April 12th, yep. uh, 1947. April 12th, 1947. Okay. Okay, so you were born on a Saturday. And, uh, do you know? I don't, I don't know. You don't know? No. Okay. And, uh, you turn, uh, 65 in 2012. And, uh, that will be on a Thursday. Okay? Oh, so you can re you retire on a Thursday. Wow. wow. How about that? Are you, are, you, are you able to make some money uh, with what you do? I mean, I, I'm not being silly about it, but are you, uh, this, sure. is, this is a rarefied, it's a, a gift, isn't it? It's, sure. It's rarefied. One, only a handful of people do this? Yeah. I mean, there are something like 25 savants yeah. in the world. And the people are studying you, is that correct? That's right. Yeah. We, there are scientists in America, in California, and also in places like Oxford and Cambridge in the UK yeah. who are studying me. Because what they're looking for is to see whether or not... Um, people, anyone, you know, can do this, yeah. whether or not it's learn numbers easier, speak another language. What's your birthday? My birthday is January 31st, 1979. Um. <laughs> you got a one in seven w shot. Wednesday. Wednesday. It was a Wednesday. Uh, Daniel, it's a, a, a great pleasure to meet you. I, you. I, uh, I hope we expressed some of what it is you're capable of doing here. Uh, the documentary is Brain Man, and it'll be on the uh, Science Channel. Well, good luck to you. Nice meeting Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very Daniel much. Daniel Hammond, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with LCD Sound System.